So I don't know how long this uh, this train of thought is going to last. If you're the kind of person who doesn't like to hear people talk about the definitions of words or about their own beliefs, um, click something else. Because I'm about to go plug this camera in because I don't know how long this talk is going to last. And, hell, I might even just get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of this. Who knows? I don't have to go now, but, you know, it's only when you turn the camera on that you start getting itches and, you know, things start to bother you. Kind of like how, you know, toast will fall jelly side down. Stupid stitions, yay. Um, <laughs> so, camera's plugged in. Here I go, talking from the top of my head. And, let's see, last night I, I had uh, an argument with abusive anti-theists, but it, it, it wasn't... Uh, an argument that I hadn't had before and it, it was just you know another flavor of the same argument that I've had with a lot of people one part of the argument is uh, the you know it it, it, ch it changed from one argument to another really quickly and we didn't really address what started the argument um, and he might not have even realized that it, it irks me but when people try to define for other people what their beliefs are that bothers me um, in, in just my short stay here on YouTube with this channel uh, that you're watching this on uh, I've attacked Christians for saying that another person is not a Christian because they don't believe the same way that they do. I have attacked a Christian for saying that atheists are not really atheists if they're defining atheism as just a, an absence of belief in religion or a lack of belief in religion or finding no credible evidence for a deity. I've, I've seen them try to define the terms for somebody else in order to uh, later be manipulative with that term that they want the other person's belief system to be as the foundation for their later arguments. And it bugs me. It really does. And, you know, uh, as far as uh, arguing definitions of words, it doesn't bug me as much arguing with uh, abusive anti-theist Charles, because we're, we're at least in the ballpark of each other. But, you know, I've had arguments about uh, definitions of words on Skype uh, that lasted for hours. Just on, you know, atheism and anti-theism and theism. Um, it was three or four hours with Together for Peace on Skype. You know, because you can't start arguing about things until you're both uh, going to accept some definitions from, from the other side. And as soon as those definitions become concrete or at least accepted by both sides, then you can start to argue. Now, the way that abusive anti-theist tried to define my position for me was by looking at certain actions that I have done on YouTube that he called anti-theistic and then he, he, he tried to use them to say that I am an anti-theist and that I just don't know it, you know. And he, he has suggested this before, but not as strongly as say fitchful thinking or some, you know some other people on on YouTube 
who have different agendas to calling me an anti-theist because they want to uh, make it uh, a positive claim on my part, thereby, you know, putting us all on the same level. And I, I have repeatedly asserted that I have come to atheism through my belief in skepticism. And when I say this, I'm, I'm telling everyone right now, uh, if through skepticism I found uh, verifiable evidence in theism, I would not be an atheist. I'd still be a skeptic. You know, but I, I would have proof. So, I'm not in love with my atheism as far as uh, not being willing to part with it. I'm just an atheist now because of skepticism. And that is not to say that uh, theists don't exercise critical thinking skills or uh, skepticism any time in, in, in their theistic beliefs. I believe that when I've come across uh, an a priori or, uh, you know, on its own without proof for me, I can, I can take their definitions of their God and uh, contrast them with each other, find an illogical uh, stance that they have and say, okay, well, uh, your God can't exist because he, he's, you're, you're contradicting your, your own definitions. You know, if, if you're using one definition, you're contradicting it with the other. And, you know, a priori, without me having to have any burden of proof, I can just take their definitions that they're giving. I can take their proof and show how both of their definitions disagree. Check the first 15 videos on this channel that you're watching, and they are all about contradictions within the Bible. And they're about the nature of God as well. Um, I do plan to continue that series because I think it's uh, an important uh, aspect of my atheism is, is that uh, I have not had to bear the burden of proof by saying that somebody else's uh, deity is illogical when they themselves have contradictory uh, definitions for their deity. So, back on track. Where was I? This is going to be a long video. I, I can feel it. Um, <laughs> I can feel the long video and the 15 degree weather outside. I, I know if I stepped outside the door right now, the the wet in my hair would just crisp up like frost and, and I could like break my hair off. So, uh, where was I? Charles also, he argues that because I use arguments that say uh, theism or a certain theism is a delusion or I, I will say that uh, theism is you know harming society that that makes me an anti-theist because I've used those arguments I have countered that if a Christian and an atheist use the same arguments to show that Islam is false, that does not make the Christian and the atheist the same thing. And it seems to me that whenever I make this assertion that if two people use the same argument, it says nothing about what their core belief systems are. It, it seems like people don't want to recognize that I'm making a point there. Let, if you if you check the 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 comment thread where I where I latest made this comment, this will be probably video two or three after the comment thread on on a video where 
Uh, Charles just completely disregards what I'm saying there and saying, well, I wasn't talking about Christians. and No, I was making a fucking analogy. And the, the lesson of the analogy is that if you apply adjectives to someone's actions, that does not mean that their core belief system has anything to do with those adjectives. Um, as a skeptic and believing that you should not uh, accept any facts until they could possibly be verified with evidence, um, I can find beneficial reasons for, for people to uh, abandon their theism. Not just attack the harmful effects of their theism, but I can give them beneficial reasons as well. So, and what I'm trying to say there is that I'm not being anti-theistic when I'm giving those beneficial reasons. I'm being pro-skepticism. And to be pro-skepticism is not necessarily anti-theistic and it also does not say anything about my core belief system and yet people will still levy the the claim at me that you're an anti-theist you know which you know it's it's a mixing of verb or no, it's a mixing of adjective and noun you know charles will go use a definition from a dictionary, pick out the one that he likes, and then say, well, you know, if you use this, if you if you can apply this label to one of your actions and that label is antitheism, then you're an antitheist, you know? You know, if you at any moment use an antitheistic argument, then you're an antitheist at that point. And uh, he does so as if to... As if to say that that means something about my core belief system. Um, to give another example, somebody who is being the aggressor in any sport is not necessarily an aggressor all the time. That does not make them an aggressor. That just means that they were an aggressor at that point. I really don't want to talk about other uh, examples that are coming to my mind right now. You know, uh, one one of the funnier ones would be for me to talk about the devil's advocate. You know, just because somebody's arguing from the perspective of the devil does not make them necessarily a devil or the devil <laughs> or the embodiment of the devil. Um, yeah. Have I gotten it all out? I don't know. I still seem to be a bit frustrated. Um, so yeah. I've come to my definitions for words, um, not just by myself. And I've been told that I'm, I'm the only one who must be holding that belief. And yet I'm, I'm pointing to examples of other people saying the same thing. Uh, what if I just let the camera roll right now? Okay, back to uh, Charles disagreeing with me on the, the definition of anti-theism. Um, and, and there may be more people who disagree with me on anti-theism, and if they've made it this far down the video, uh, they can 
attempt to correct me on their uh, term anti-theism and what it means to them. I, I would like to have as many of, of those uh, responses as people want to give me. But uh, Charles will use the definition uh, that anti-theism is an opposition to theism or well he will he will just say it's it's an opposition anti-theism is an opposition to theism and he'll say that opposition as if the opposition to the belief is not a belief in and of, in and of itself and maybe this is where our definitions differ because when i see the term an opposition to a belief uh, I also see the term a belief in opposition to. And when I see the term theism, I see any belief in God. You could you could say Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, all, all those are, are theisms. Monotheism, polytheism, whatever. If there's any God involved at all, that's theism. So the the points of, of the definition of anti-theism, where I think Charles and I are disagreeing, is that uh, I don't think he believes that an, opposi an opposition to a belief is in and of itself a belief. And also he is not... Uh, recognizing that theism encompasses any God. And if you were to take those two premises and take them out to, you know, a, a logical conclusion, you can say that anti-theism is a belief that no gods exist. saying that anti-theism is an opposition to theism to me equates to anti-theism means a belief that no god exists and the worst thing right now i guess would be for charles to see to say i see what you're saying and, and i disagree but i because really we, we've been arguing about definitions and if we have some kind of common ground now that just that means we've argued for you know a couple hours each when when we're saying the same thing just in a different way how fucked is that and and then it'll it'll rile us up you know you'll see a difference in in, in the eyes like fire in the eyes in the video you know and, and and we're saying the same thing in a different way um i've been uh, accused of a semantics game when when i'm talking about anti-theism and atheism and my own stance um I believe that the, the semantics game, a, as it pertains to the term anti-theism, is that anti-theism, or anti, some anti-theists, they want to just use their own label as a reactionary adjective to the existence of theism. Like, if theism did not exist they would not be anti-theists. If theism did not exist, they would not have anti-theism. Um, I believe that your core beliefs uh, don't necessarily have to do with anything in the external world. You can come to your own beliefs 
without having to react to the external world. Now, in, in my own daily practice, uh, I react to a lot of things in the external world, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's affecting my belief. You know, it just means that I'm reacting to something at the moment. Uh, I believe that semantics game with some anti-theists is an attempt to steal the carrion from the mouths of other definitions. Anti-theism sounds really cool, you know? Like you could just put on a leather jacket and jump on a motorcycle and, and say, fuck you, church. But, uh... I, I believe the, the semantics game is in using an adjective to, you know, dictate what the, the noun must be. What you Saying that fighting against theism is what creates anti-theism, and, and if there was no theism, there would be no anti-theism, is to me the semantics game. That's where I see the, the battle lines being drawn, because I don't believe that fighting against theism necessarily makes you an anti-theist. Um, I don't believe that a Muslim is an anti-theist because he attacks Christianity. Okay? He may be doing some anti-theistic uh, acts, and he may be using anti-theistic arguments against the theism of the Christian, but that does not mean that the core belief system of that Muslim is anti-theism. I imagine uh, at least one person, maybe two, are going to have uh, some kind of educational style ponage for me on something I've said so far. But, you know, I'm not afraid of being corrected, you know. I'm not even afraid of finding proof and evidence of a deity and, and uh, discarding atheism, you know. If somebody wants to come at me with, with that angle on this video. Um, yeah, I've been pwned by Charles before on cosmology. Yeah, that sucked. Finding out that I, I'm basically a caveman on cosmology because I hadn't visited it since high school. Does anybody else still believe in the Big Crunch? Or... or were you taught about the big crunch in high school and then nobody's corrected you since that there's no observational evidence to support the big crunch? Uh, you can comment on that too because I, I fucking got pwned. I felt bad. But, you know, I'm not afraid of, of feeling that bad feeling that you first get when you, when you realize that uh, you were wrong about something. And then your your eyes are opened up to the the you know the expanse of this new idea because new ideas are are wonderful. No edits, no scripts, and possibly pwned on something. I don't know. And that's it. And the whole last minute is like nothing. I didn't say anything. I just like... I breathed hard. <laughs>